In 2017, a group of revellers celebrated New Year's Eve in the surroundings of Coromandel Peninsula, New Zealand. Their venue, complete with a picnic table, circumvented a local ban on public drinking. Although not strictly legal, the police chief admired their creative thinking. Why? Uh, I will give it to you one more time. Coromandel? I've been there and I can't believe... I, I, th- <laughs> I keep thinking Coromandel, but then I think I'm thinking of Howie Mandel. You are. Um, I've been there <laughs> as well and my brain is blanking on what it was like, which is really annoying. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful, like all of New Zealand. In 2017, a group of revellers celebrated New Year's Eve in the surroundings of Coromandel Peninsula, New Zealand. Their venue, complete with a picnic table, circumvented a local ban on public drinking. Although not strictly legal, the police chief admired their creative thinking. Why? So, like, drinking is illegal, I guess, in this public place, but they've produced or brought with them some kind of structure that means that they're technically not in public. Yeah, their venue that included a picnic... That's an interesting word, isn't it? Like, venue mm. that in, included a picnic table or whatever it was. Like, were they on the back of a vehicle that was technically private property? They, they've invented so. a giant drone that constantly hovers just an inch <laughs> off the ground with ground effects. So they're not they're not on the uh, peninsula; they're above it with a picnic table. Yeah, I'm just watching. The, imagine the police officers standing next to them and them hovering eye to eye, just like. <laughs> <laughs> My uh, other thought was the fact it's New Year's Eve as well. Like, hmm. is there something temporal wise, time wise, that's like playing with it? But that would mean what they just like drink in like. When the, I don't know what that would be. Oh, just for the leap second. There's a leap second in there somewhere. That year. It's, all right, how fast can you neck this beer? <laughs> we, exactly. don't, we don't technically exist at the moment. We can do what we like. <laughs> yeah. Um, you're you're less. I'm fascinated by the uh, the idea of the temporal. I, I I want you to run with it, but I think you're in the you'd be running in the wrong direction. I mean, I back Katie's thought more than mine. So. Yeah, Let's it's have just, a thing it's, for this. It needs to be something that's impressive enough that the police officer, <laughs> like if you're just like, oh yeah, we're in our van. They had a big sign yeah. that said, we love the police so much. <laughs> <laughs> and the police were just like... Creative thinking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, you mentioned earlier on um, a, a legal loophole. You're in the right kind of realms when you discuss, maybe, maybe not a hovering drone, but something which... Has a, a, is sort of legally inflected. I have previously done a video on the fact that it's legal to sell alcohol from a hovercraft anywhere in the UK. You don't need a license for it, be- as long as the hovercraft is moving and on a journey. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, excuse me, I'm, I'll be right back. I'm just going to go and exploit that for the rest of the day. <laughs> right? I, I, I got like a two-person hovercraft and, and sold drinks off it to friends, but like I wasn't I following this. like the trading standards rules on like pause or anything like that. Like. But in theory... Oh, yeah, the pipes were terribly poured. Uh, <laughs> they really no were. Sta- we weren't following any standards on that pipe pouring time. You try pouring a, a pint that, on a hovercraft that's vibrating that much. It's just, it's just yes, all foam. But the, the cocktails were fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <just laughs> but, uh, but that exception's there to cover, like, serving alcohol on trains and things that go through multiple mm. council areas. So you don't have to get a licence in each one. So I'm wondering if there's something about... Uh, a conveyance, something that they're on that that means they're excluded. Yeah. Yeah. My brain just constructed the sentence, where's the stupidest place you could put a picnic table? <laughs> I immediately <laughs> answered it for myself. The question um, of our age. Yeah. 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 I'm picturing as well, I don't know why, and I think this is almost definitely going to be wrong, like if you've got something with you, like you can sell alcohol if you've got your horse with you. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think yeah. it's going to be that. This is that reminds me of the was there a famous tale of like an Oxford law student who uh, demanded a pint of ale and a full meal during his exam by invoking mm, a legal law, and on the yeah. way out they they find him three shillings for not wearing yeah. a sword, something like that. Yeah, I had a friend who did law at Oxford, and it was like ninety percent just looking up the arcane rules of Oxford. And the, <laughs> yeah, like if you turn up to your final exam in uh, a suit of armor, you automatically pass. Or something. So, yeah. <laughs> there's like there's that legend at every university about. Mm. Some little loophole that someone used, but Oxford's, Oxford's got more than most. It's, I can tell you it's not about bringing a picnic table. They could have done this without a picnic table. That simply oh, uh, eased okay. the comfort. Okay. Is it? Um, the, I'm imagining like a boat or a raft or something that they're just like floating along the river and having a party on the boat and that technically isn't in the park. You are in, a- you're in the right ballpark in one respect. 
And can I can I just say I love asking the question? It's so <laughs> nice. It's I'm so happy right You're now. You're getting such a power trip. <laughs> Honestly, I can see it in your eyes. It's the peninsula, so it's surrounded by ocean. Now, maybe public drinking is only prohibited on land, or they thought they could interpret it that way. But I think I feel like they got a boat is not a satisfying answer to this question. No, it's mm. not a boat, but the peninsula is important. They wouldn't have. They chose it deliberately. Oh. Oh, they didn't... Okay. If you are on a beach and you dig for, like, a little bit, water is going to come up. So did they, like, get a load of shovels and, like, cut off the tip of the peninsula at the beach and then try and claim they were now on a private island? Or oh, the tide. Did the tide naturally cut, cut off a bit of the beach and that was it's, it? Yeah, you're both very, very close. There's a specific sentence that I'd like... There's a specific legal phrase that I'd like you to get to. That was their justification. Objection. I don't, uh, <laughs> international waters. I yes, think. exactly. Oh. <laughs> That's, That's always the loophole yes. when you're at sea. International <laughs> waters. The group used low tide to build their own artificial island in the estuary. <laughs> and once you know this, you can Google it for a picture. Other search engines are apparently available, but I've never heard of any. Um, and uh, it's an absolutely brilliant picture of what looks like maybe six or seven people in shorts. <laughs> and uh, T-shirts on a constructed island. Locals joked that they were taking advantage of the international waters law to escape the ban. However, the legal eagles will recognise that they would need yeah. to be at least 12 nautical miles mm. out for this to even be considered. Hence the police chief sort of going, yeah, all right, fine with me. <laughs> oh, amazing. What legends. That's great. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Ike Hayes, for that excellent question.